Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of a series that I'm calling What the Fill. A lot of you probably checked out my first episode of Hands, where I talked about developing accuracy and different grip types. I was really stoked with the reaction I got to that video and that series. Looking to the future, I want to get to the point where I have three different series on the go, and I'm uploading an episode to each series, hopefully every week. The three different series that I have in mind are Hands, Feet, and this series, What the Fill. In my Hands series, of course, we're going to be focusing on your hands. Rudiments, grips, stretches, exercises, everything we can talk about that relates to improving improving your hands on the drum set. And then that'll be the exact same thing, but for feet in the feet series. Here in this series, we're gonna break down fills and I'm gonna teach you different types of fills. For this series each week, I'm going to write a fill or two myself to teach to you guys. And then I'm going to include fills from the covers that I currently have on the go. For my future drum covers and my lesson videos, if you come to a point where I perform a fill and you would really like to learn that fill or you're having trouble with it in the lesson video because it's not slow enough or because the sticking isn't available for you there, make sure to request it in the comments of that video to be featured in that week's What the Fill episode. That's what I want to primarily use this series to do is break down the harder fills that come up in my lesson videos as well, teach you guys some that I use typically when I'm just at the set jamming myself. With all that being said, I'm really, really curious to see what you guys think of this series, the formatting I've put together for it, and if how I've structured it really helps you behind the kit. If you have suggestions or requests for ways that I can improve this series going forward and change up the formatting to better help you learn the fills that we're going to be talking about, please make sure to comment those and let me know how I can improve upon these videos to make them more user-friendly for you. Also, if you really just enjoyed the way I did format it, please let me know that. As I already said, I'm very new to making videos like this, so I really want to hear feedback from you guys on how I can improve and get better. Okay, so I know this was a bit of a lengthy intro, but without further ado, let's get into the fills we're going to be talking about this week. So for this week, I've chosen three fills to break down for you. The first fill we're going to be talking about, I wrote myself. This fill and variations on this fill, I've been incorporating into my own writing and jamming for a very long time, and I really enjoy the way this fill is structured, and it comes very naturally to me. I don't have a name for this fill, but I would love to have one, and I want your guys' help with that. So comment a name that we can title this fill going forward. I'm going to start off by performing the fill at full speed. The tempo I chose for the full speed version of the fill is 140 beats per minute. Here's fill number one now. All right, now I'm going to take you frame by frame through the fill and the sticking and what's going on. Now that we've broken down the sticking, I'm going to start performing the first half of the fill for you to play along to. We're going to start very slow, very calm, in control at 60 beats per minute. Here's the first half of fill one now. Okay, sweet. So now that you've got that down at 60 beats per minute, I'm going to bring the tempo up to 100 beats per minute. Here's the first half of fill one at 100 beats per minute performed now. So coming off that, if you found 100 beats per minute too quick, go back to the first performance where I did it at 60 beats per minute and just rehearse that section over and over. Get to the point where you don't have to look at the monitor as reference to know what sticking comes next. Once you're at that point, if 100 is still too quick, then I encourage you to practice this fill on your own at around 80 beats per minute. And then you should be able to make the jump to 100 after that. If you got that guy down at 100, I'm now going to step it up to full speed at 140. Here's the first half of fill one for you to play along to at 140 beats per minute form now.
Okay, great. So now we've got the first half down. Just as I said with the jump from 60 to 100, if you are having trouble with the jump from 100 to 140, try 120 on your own with your metronome and just rehearse that a few times before going up to 140. I want to take a quick second to mention here too, that even if you can't get it up to 140 and it's going to take you a lot longer to get it to 140, playing it at slower tempos, just as a rehearsal, as practice, is really, really great just to develop your control around the kit. So using that first half as an exercise is great on its own. All right, back to learning the rest of this fill. Now we're going to break down the second half of the fill. Just as I did with the first half, I'm going to start off with 60 beats per minute. I'm going to start at the direct center, right where we left off on the splash cymbal, and then play the rest of the fill, including the kick snare groove at the end. Here is the second half of fill one for you to play along to at 60 beats per minute, perform now. Just as I did with the first half, you guessed it, we're now going to take it up to 100. Here is the second half of fill one, performed at 100 beats per minute. Okay, now that we've got it at 100, we're going to go all the way up to 140, which is the full tempo of this fill. Here is the second half of fill one performed at 140. Okay, so now you're able to perform the first half of the fill and the second half of the fill at full tempo, 140 beats per minute. The next step is to put both halves together and play it all the way through. So now for you to play along to, I'm going to perform the entire fill at 100 beats per minute. Hopefully you've kept up to speed and you got that fill down at 100 beats per minute. If you haven't, you can practice that entire fill through at a lower tempo like 80 or 60 and just do it over and over until you get to the point where you can handle it at 100 beats per minute playing along with me. If you're right on point and you've got it at 100 all the way through, now we're going to take it up to 140. Here's fill one for you to play along to at 140 beats per minute once again. Okay, awesome. So that was fill one. I hope you really enjoyed learning that fill. As I already said, please help me by commenting some name ideas for that guy. Okay, so moving on from fill number one, we're on to number two. The second fill was actually requested by you guys on my Instagram page. This fill is taken from the song Hereafter by Architects. It's specifically taken out of the center of the chorus section in that song. You can find links to my full cover of Hereafter as well as my full lesson video breaking down that entire song in the description below. Just as I did with fill one, I'm first gonna start off by performing this fill for you at the full speed of the song. That song is at 242 beats per minute in the time signature of 4-4. Here's fill two, performed for you now. Okay, great. So now that you've seen it, some of you may recognize it. I'm now going to take you through note by note and break down the sticking. Thank you. 
Cool, so now that we've talked about the sticking, let's get into actually playing it. I'm not gonna cut fill two in half like I did with fill one, just because this is a much shorter fill in comparison to fill one. We're gonna start off by running through this fill at 120 beats per minute. Here's fill two for you to play along to at 120 now. Okay, great. So after 120, definitely a bit of a jump. We're going to go up to 170 next. If you want to stop on the way at like 160 or 150 or 40 or whatever, and just rehearse it on your own with your own click track, feel free to do so until you're comfortable enough to hit 170. The incremental BPMs in which I chose, I felt were pretty fair gaps between one another that wouldn't be too difficult to reach to, but would also certainly challenge you. If you felt that these gaps were too big, let me know in the comments and I can rethink what kind of tempo mapping I'll use in the future. So as I already mentioned, here is Phil two for you to play along to at 170 beats per minute now. Okay, cool. So after getting that down at 170, we're now going to bump it up to 242. 170 to 242 is a very large gap. But one thing I want to mention is that I chose 242 for the tempo of this song because the actual tempo of this song is technically 121. I doubled the tempo in my DAW for myself because I wanted more clicks. I felt that 121 was just not enough. So that's why those numbers 120 to 170 to now up to 242 can sound pretty daunting on paper. As you made the jump from 120 to 170, I'm sure you noticed that it wasn't too difficult. So that being said, here we go. The full thing for you to play along to at 242 the full tempo now. Okay, great. So that's two fills down. Fill number three and the final fill for this episode was taken from another Architect song. This time around, it's from Mortal After All. Just as I mentioned with Hereafter, you can find a link to the full cover of Mortal After All and a full lesson on the entire song in the description below. The fill that I'm going to be breaking down out of Mortal After All only happens once in the entire song. It happens near the end of the song in what I guess would be called the B-side chorus. So we'll start off with fill number three, just like we did with the others. I'm going to first perform it to you all the way through at the tempo of the song. Mortal After All is 154 beats per minute and 4-4. Four four. So that's where we're going to start for this guy. Here's the third fill performed at full Full speed for you now. Just as I did with one and two, I'm now going to take you through the sticking so you know note by note what's going on. Now that we've talked about that sticking, let's get you into playing along with me. We'll start pretty slow at 80 beats per minute. Here's that now. Great, so now that you've got it down at 80, we're going to take it up a level. I'm going to increase the tempo to 115. Here is fill number three for you to play along to at 115 now.
Great, so I really hope that after a few attempts, you managed to get through that fill, playing along with me at 115 beats per minute. If you didn't, I strongly encourage you, as I already have mentioned several times throughout this video, just pause the video and take a second to hit a different BPM increment along the way. So we went from 80 up to 115, maybe you can try 90, 95, and rehearse it there a few times to get to 115. That being said, the same thing will apply moving from 115 to our next BPM increment. I'm moving from 115 to the full speed of the song, which as you guys already know is 154. Here is Phil 3 performed for you to play along to at 154, the full speed of the song, now. Great, so that's it for this week's episode. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this new series. If you haven't checked out my hands series, episode one, there's a link in the description below to that as well. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is a very new concept for me and doing these types of videos is kind of new and definitely a challenge that I'm really excited to be taking on. That being said, if you have suggestions on how I can improve the video format to better help you in your own practicing, please leave comments below and let me know what I can do. If you thought this video was great and really helped you, please make sure to like the video and tell me all about it in the comments as well. For those of you who are consistently requesting the launch of my feet series, that will be one of the next videos that I get up. So we're very close to that series starting. In the future, if you want to catch up on episodes for hands, feet, or what to fill, you can find playlists to all three of my series on my channel with episodes in chronological order. As I already mentioned, if you like the video, please make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to connect with me further, you can do so at any of my social media pages. You can find links to those on the screen for you now, as well as in the description below. Thanks so much for checking out this video, and I will see you guys very soon with something new.